Well, good afternoon and welcome once again to uh, Ed's Orchids. Now, I've just nicked all the fish here for 10 minutes and, uh, well, I said for 10 minutes, she's going to make me some tea, which is very nice. So I'm just in the greenhouse now and I'm just going to have a look at what plant she's got. She's uh, just shown me around to show what's growing. So uh, we'll, we'll have a good look. Now, the first one she has is this Saracena which uh, last Saturday you said we had the orchid show and uh, this is what she won in the raffle the Saracena and it's growing very very nicely too it came with a label and if you wait a minute I'll show you the label and it says it's a Saracena hybrid in the compost is moss, peat, perlite, uh, stand in shallow water, uh, rainwater only, and do not feed, and do not water from above. You know, so uh, the bloke who grew that did very well, so I'm sure we shall abide by that, and uh, it'll come on nicely. Strange flowers on them though. And the next one is a Dendrobium Vanille Pomery. Oh, I don't know what that is, but it's budding up very nicely. Put the label back in. Some buds come in here, some here on top, some down there, and there's a bunch of buds up there too. There we are. That's another dendrobium she's got. I think she won this in a raffle as well. And as we move along, this is doing very nicely. This is a uh, Stenoglottis uh, longifolia. And this is the one that uh, just dies off completely in winter. And you don't water it. You only start watering when you see new growth coming up. But... Uh, when it loses all its leaves, everything goes and you can see nothing. But once it starts uh, growing again, then you start watering. And uh, I think on this last one, she had, uh, or the, the end of last year, she had sort of uh, 15, 16 spikes on it. That one's a Barbacella Duceri, as shown before. It's growing very nicely. Like everything else is in here, and uh, down here is the uh, cutting of a excuse me dendrobium kingiflorum. Let's have a look at it, see how it's doing. Well, you can see where it's flowered from before, and it's got plenty of new growth, and you can see they're looking a bit purpley, the new growth. There's one there, there's a big one there, there's a smaller one, uh, there's one in the middle there. There's five altogether new growths on that one, so that's doing very well. Should get some nice flowers off that uh, at the end of the year. Dendrobium kingianum. Here's another dendrobium, but it's got no labels on this one. I don't, oh yeah it has, what is it, oh it's a black label with no name on it, oh no it has, Dendrobium chrysotoxum, oh it's one of the cuttings from the big one, and this is coming out with some nice new, uh, nice new spikes there, there we are, some more flowers there, she seems to get flowers on everything, I don't know how she does it, this is a Dendrobium spectabilis, that uh, is supposed to be a 4N that hasn't flowered yet but uh, this is a new growth on it it's quite huge and uh, another new growth coming up there this goes without saying what this is this dendrobium sweet dawn absolutely masses of buds on it and plenty and plenty of flowers as well I'll not turn it round but uh, there's plenty and plenty of blooms on the back there and I think she's saving this for our annual show 
they did want it to take it down to the Malden International Show, but uh, and I don't blame her, she's not letting it go down there. So we'll see how that goes on at our annual show next month. And this is a Dracula Vampira. Some nice spikes on it, one or two there. Um, she had plenty on yesterday, but they all went out the sideways. And she said, I can't cope with all them going out the sideways. She must have had five, six, seven, eight of them. And she chopped them all off. She said, they're taking up too much room growing sideways. But she's got another growing sideways there. But right in the middle, she's got one growing upright. They are developing a nice bud on top as well. That's Dracula Vampira. Here's another Dracula, Dracula Hirsuta. And uh, this is one I think I gave her, uh, must be over two years ago, and it hasn't been repotted. So she thinks it probably needs repotting this. But this is coming up with the first spike on it there, but it's only small. You know, so it'll be nice to see what it's like when that turns around. Plenty of new growths on it, but uh, as she says, I think I'll repot it. And I think it'll come on much better when it's been repotted. So we'll see how that goes. And we'll have a look at this, uh, this bloom when it opens. Now this one looks a weary mess, doesn't it? And it's a Multonia. And then she said, oh, I'll try and uh, rescue this one. And look what's happened. She's got a bloom on it. Unbelievable for a plant like that. Here's another plant where she's got loads and loads of spikes on it. And it's a Shinorchis gamata. And she's got uh, one, two, three four, five, bad to see, six, seven spikes on that one, so that should be nice when it comes out, better hang it up and not drop it or else I will be in trouble, here's one she bought recently, an Epidendrum Medusa, and uh, she put it in some of that, uh, that nice moss she's got, that doesn't mind being dry, and uh, lo and behold, You've got two nice growths coming up there. Epidendrum Medusa. They're really nice these when they flower. Here's one I've just brought for her, which is a, uh, a Phalaenopsis Lowii. And, you know, and I brought it for her because uh, I'm not one for mounted plants and she loves them mounted. So I thought, well, I'll, uh, I'll pass it over and see how she does with it because it's never flowered for me. And uh, this is the one that loses all its leaves, supposedly. But if you keep it watered, it might cling onto one like this has done. But uh, we'll see how she goes along like that. She's remounted it since I've given it to her. And uh, yeah, it should do fine. It'll do much better with Sheila than it would do for me. Here's another Dendrobium, Dendrobium Christidon. I think it's one of the parents of uh, the big plant she's got. And this is coming into bud very, very nicely. There we are. And they're really nice flowers on those. Much we're watching us, the Dendrobiums, but, uh, you know, from this variety. But uh, very, very nice flowers and very colourful. Next to it, there's one of these leafless ones, which are what they are, chili kister, something like that. There's the flowers on it. See if we can find the name properly. Chili kister usnoides, that's what it is. Very nice too. Well, that's about all in the greenhouse there, but this is beautiful that she's got flowers every year she must have had it oh 20 years this one absolutely beautiful just going over a little bit in places but, uh, very nice and very colorful for a garden 
Well, that's about all I can show you this time. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, thank you to all my subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed yet, it'd be very nice if you did so. And uh, until next time, I'll see you all later. Bye.